You see the stuff behind me? Trees and woods. When something like that is labeled as haunted, probably best not to go into it. This is the Haunted World of CW review. Check it out. So this is a special double review because I've quite frankly been having a whole lot of personal problems come up. And really, this one kind of follows a very familiar formula. It's best if I start at the beginning. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So helping King James face his PTSD, we find that our ghost-busting Scooby gang has made their way to the murder barn. In case you're wondering what I mean by murder barn, this is the place where King James was being held by Doppel James, where Jesse had the ever-loving crap kicked out of him, and where several people have been murdered. That's the term, murder barn. Now, how does that bode for our crew? Well, King James really don't want to go in there. Jesse don't want to go in there either, and that's for pretty obvious reasons, I would say. And they go in, and they find a human head. Is it Claire? King James seems to think so. At least he thinks that's who it could be. But the jury's still out on that. And this episode also featured the return of Liz, whom I was so scared about. I honestly thought Liz was dead, thanks to Doppel Jams. But, lo and behold, she was rescued. Thank you. Thank you. I always felt bad for her. I always felt she was kind of put upon. I really felt bad that she was even involved with King James in the first place because I just never saw that as really going anywhere but tragedy. And, well, we kind of see how that ended up, thanks to Doppel Jams. But, I will say this, Liz, from me to you, you don't have to worry about all guys. Just ones that start cackling like evil idiots. So maybe not actually King James, but, you know... If you happen to come my way and we meet up for, say, you know, drinks or whatever, you know, just as friends. No murderous agenda here. And then, you know, maybe you'll find out that not all guys are so bad. Hashtag not all males. Hashtag not all penises. In the mini episode, because I'm sort of streamlining all of this, uh, we find that Constance has been taught to about a place known as the Seven Gates of Hell on the site of an old asylum that once stood in the woods in Pennsylvania where if anybody had left they would have been shot and because of the tragedy it put the place so close to hell that the moment you travel through the seven through gate five you're basically in hell and nobody's ever returned an urban legend to be sure but they decided to try it out anyway and she said it was going to be fun we all know what happens when Constance says something is going to be fun don't we I think so. So, the next thing that we hear from them is the next video, which is episode three. And this one is, of all people, Max uploading to us. And that's because Jesse, Whisper, and Constance, and King James are missing. Apparently, they went to go check out the Seven Gates of Hell and haven't, nobody's heard from them since. So, Max goes out there to try and bring them home, somehow manages to find their campsite, and then, you know, their equipment, which he automatically knows nobody would ever leave behind, and that's when something really spooky starts to happen, and it's at that point that we start finding out what happened in the time prior. They're taking a road trip to Pennsylvania to go and see the Seven Gates of Hell, uh, Whisper is in the back seat. Still no sign of King James. I honestly don't know what's going on with him. Why he's missing it all. And they're, you know, just yucking it up and having fun. And the footage kind of ends there. And it turns out that they've got a bit of an ally in this fight. Who is that ally? None other than Paranormal Captivity. 
a wonderful YouTuber who has been a fan and a friend of the series for quite some time. A lot like myself. And Kat, it's nice to see you on the show. Congratulations on making it and being able to help out. I really look forward to seeing more of you on the show. Uh, you know, I'm just kind of glad that you're there. And then we also get another little spooky bit that happened in the episode. So, while Max was looking for the campsite, he was chasing what looked to be flashlights in the distance. It's how we found the campsite, but it's not how we found anybody else. And it's in the middle of that that he receives a call on his phone. It's from Constance, but it's not asking for help. Something really bad is going on there, and quite frankly, Max, one father to another, watch your back. Really, really watch your back, because something really ain't right about this. And don't believe what you heard there. In case you're wondering what was told to Max, well, the link to their channel is down in the description. Click on it, go watch it, please, because I'm not about to spoil this one. And most recently, what we saw was, of course, Constance somehow uploading to the internet through her camera, and it was highly and heavily distorted. She didn't even know if it was getting out. She was thinking she might be hallucinating. You weren't hallucinating, Constance. We got gotcha. you. Overall, this arc is highly familiar, and you can tell instantly where the source material was for this. This is so Blair Witch Project that it's not even funny. What I like about it is that it's not modern, soon-to-be-released Blair Witch Project. It's original Blair Witch Project. That one scared the ever-loving pants out of me and made me need new underwear. Why? Well, that's another video for another time, and I will be talking about uh, my thoughts on the upcoming Blair Witch Project movie uh, in another video. But in the meantime, that's what happened. That's what's catching us up. And, you know, honestly, I can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, the Seven Gates of Hell. This is an interesting aside. It's an interesting thought process. It's an interesting direction to take the series. And quite frankly, I'm interested you know when you when you catch my attention with something like this i'm gonna follow up that's just the way it is so in the meantime that is my review for episodes two and three and there are sides and keep watching because quite frankly this is getting kind of spooky until next time this is jd paladin saying to everybody out there stay righteous and for god's sakes don't split the party.